Welcome everyone to the Milwaukee Area Technical College in today's first ever robot welding programming competition. Today's competition is to see who is the best CRAW programmer. CRAW standing for Certified Robot Arc Welder, a program sponsored by the AWS to help raise the awareness and the technology of robot arc welding. This is the very first robot competitive contest of its type ever in any application of robots. There's never been a skills competition like this ever. And we're gonna do the contest using the system you see behind me, a CRAW certified training cell. This is a little bit different than a real CRAW examination. Okay, this comes down to speed and accuracy, torch angle, position, the distance of the torch from the work comes down to some splitting some hairs. The winner of this contest is the individual who has the best score in both the practical exam and the written exam. And today we have four contestants that are willing to take this first ever challenge to do the CRAW programming contest. Well, Mr. Young, our first contestant, is in the process of actually programming the robot. He is putting in precision points along the curvature of the weld. He's completing the shell program that already exists within the control. Every contestant has a maximum of 20 minutes to complete both the performance test and a separate 20 minute time increment to finish the written examination. Checking back in, how much was that, Marcus? Seven minutes to go. Once he has a program complete, he'll perform a process that's described as dry cycle. Dry cycle means that he'll run the robot through its paces. All the actual path and inflection points but without actually making an arc. He will then go back, put the system into an automatic mode, and then actually weld the coupon. So what's the verdict? Do we like the program? We do. Marcus, is the contestant ready? All right. Exit the work cell to go into automatic production mode. The UV screen is put in place to protect the outside observers. Teach pen it back in the cradle, enabling an automatic cycle. One last check of the work cell. Our first live test ever here at MATC. Well, it looks good. We're making sparks. All right. Finished. And now do a time check. He's, he's within the 20 minutes. Right on the margin. Okay, the part is hot. We'll let the proctor now make sure we mark that. Mr. Young, it's time for you to take the written exam. Thank you. Who's our number two person? All right, Tyson, you're up. We'll make a quick inspection of the torch, torch tip, nozzle, stick out, all the appropriate starting parameters. Want to give Tyson a fair, a fair shot. Start the time, grab the enable. All right, we're ready to go. He's on the clock. All right, Tyson, have at it. Tyson's getting right down to business. He's not bothered by Marcus. Of course, I understand Tyson's boss is watching this, so this will be interesting. The time to beat so far is 1957, our first time. Well, it looks like Tyson knows his way around a teach pendant, although Marcus is there to help. You must remember the proctors are experienced programmers themselves. And it must be against their normal chemistry not to want to dive right in and do it themselves. He's seven minutes into it. He looks like he's making good progress. Well, since this is a contest, all the weld schedules have been provided by the proctor. So the candidates don't have to think of their own amperages, voltages, feed rates, uh -huh. and so forth. Now Tyson's checking out his program, making sure he likes the joint angles, approach positions, and the precision points that he's taught. Checking both sides of the coupon. Look good, Tyson. You happy with it? All right, let's go. All right, system's enabled. Teach pendants away. Checking the power source, checking the gas. Tyson just has to pace, and we're live. And 18.32 is the time. New time leader on time only. Super, excellent, excellent. Well, we'll have to wait and see how the other two come out, but you're our new time leader. So it felt pretty good, right? Excellent. Very good. Who do we have up next? It's Anthony Godinas from Ferris State. Anthony's ready from Ferris State. Gas ready. Power source ready. Teach pen in hand. Time start. Remote enable. Well, Anthony looks focused. Very focused. He's had his head in the program. He's not looked away once. He's uh, sizing up his points, his joint angles. Well, I don't want to be too premature, but it looks like Anthony's already on the back side of the park. That's a good sign. Marcus, can we have a time check? How are we looking? He's eight minutes into it. Anthony's done. He's looking confident. The screen is closed. Press the button and we're live. Certainly sounds good. Time check. 
1503, a new time leader, 1503. That's right, 1503. Well done. Well done, Anthony. I got to tell you, we have a wide range of time so far today, from 1503 to 1957. It's quite a spread. Now, our last contestant, Jennifer, is up in the fourth position. She's, she's working her number four card. So we have one more to go. Robot Index is back to the start position. Well, Jennifer looks focused. Looks like she is on top of the game. She's on the back side of the part already. So we have yet another, another quick time coming. Marcus, time check. Excellent. Looks like she has all of her points in place, ready to dry cycle. All right, come back from the home position. Go to the ready position with the robot. Now we're checking the points. All right, looks like it's time to turn the heat on. Marcus is ready, the screen is back. Teach Pendant is back in the cradle, and we're ready to make sparks. General opinion of the audience is this sounds like a good coupon. And those of us who have been welding <laughs> all of our adult lives, you can smell it, and you can hear it, and you can see it. A little round of applause for all the competitors. I'll, I'll be back live with the results, uh, and we'll announce who the winner is. We don't have a result just yet. The written tests are in. I want to tell you up front, remarkably, three of the written tests were 100%. Everybody did it within time, and we had three aces. And the only other score that was not an ace was a 95%. So uh, it's going to come down to the performance test, apparently. So we want to get it right. First competitive robot welding competition in the history of robot welding, I might add. You want to get it right. The word I get inside from the judges is that the judging's very close. All right, I want all the judges to come with me. We'll be back out with a decision after we take the com combination of scores. Everybody feel free to take a look at the welded product, what was finished out of the system, examine it yourself, and we'll be back with a decision. I must say after some really tough judging, when you have common material, common sizes, the weld schedules are the same, robots the same, gas mixtures all the same, comes down to some splitting some hairs. So it was very tough. I want to thank the judges for making a very tough call. Patrick Henry from AWS, please come up and speak a little bit about AWS. Patrick. Hello, thanks uh, everyone for coming to the competition today. It's uh, kind of a test run for what we'll be trying to do at the Fabtech show in November. We'll have the World Craw competition. Hopefully have more cells, uh, craw cells there. And uh, AWS, as you all know, is the American Welding Society. Is the, uh, is the place for everyone uh, that has to do with welding comes for education, standards, codes, and uh, we'd just like to thank our winner, Anthony Gudinez. Anthony, I, I don't know what to say. The man has never programmed an ABB robot. You guys, give it up for this guy. This guy's incredible. Everybody who participated today gets an invite to the World Championships at Fabtech in Chicago. We think that's right. Give it up for all the competitors today. <laughs> Let's face it, guys, in a competitive tournament, being first is awfully tough. You guys are the first guy to do this. We've already had input from other, uh, other groups that have regional championships. We have the World Championships. And they were hosted right here at MATC. I can't think of a better place to do that. How about you, Larry? Is that a good idea? All right, on behalf of myself, the D16 committee, I'm out. Thank you very much.